Chuck Davis here. We're at Slowzauer Studio, and every night is Friday night. So let's go on and see what the fuck's going on. So it's like what we're trying to do, and hope, and so far it's going really well, is just try to infuse some more fun back into it and get people to have a good time. And what's great is we've only been playing live for four months. Right. And in those four months, we've played with ACDC, we've played with Aerosmith, we've played with the Scorpions, we played with Vince Neil, Stone Temple Pilots, Rage Against the Machine, uh, Queens Right. How do you get? Whoa, wait, 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 can you name some of the bigger bands? Yeah, yeah. I know. Right? I mean, if you think I mean, about I don't want to hear about these little beginning bands. You know yeah, you're dude. good. You what? know you're good after four months, and plus That's you have I mean. to have a niche. You yeah. have to think it's of amazing, something dude. original I today it. Yeah. to be able to do that. Right. So maybe the next record, you take this and then you do your own original, because you're obviously going to make it like a. Well, I think. Two, do I'm, as well as Steel Panthers, and you're, well, we you're in their Panther. spot now. Well, yeah, it's, which is kind of weird, but, but you know, it's it's like in a way, it's it's a funny thing because that raises the question. It's like we we had original music, we were doing an original project, right? It is harder to win the lottery. I mean, exactly. it's harder to make it as a band than it is to win the lottery. Seriously, exactly. And it's like so we're like, well, what can we do to get on the radio? What can we do to get people's attention? With this thing, with this idea of combining the genres, and now of course, now that we're off the island, now we can use Britney Spears and we can use NSYNC and rock the crap out of all yeah. that stuff, right? It's like the, the future is sort of unlimited and Radio's actually playing this record, which we, all over the world. Is KLOS playing? KLOS has played the record, yeah. Okay. And they talk about it. We're on their, we're on their uh, the front of their website and stuff, Mark and Brian. Oh, that's great. I think we might be doing their Christmas show this year, the Mark and Brian Christmas show, which is insane. Well, you guys man. should headline it, probably. Hell yeah, dude, you hear that? That's they should great. headline it, Mark and yeah. Brian. Yeah. Chuck, you were saying you guys do all your own clothing as well, right? Yes. I mean, you know what? Style. It's so this is nothing. You this know is what? nothing. We're gonna Stand let, up and show we're them gonna your We're going to let pants. Jeff start with that okay. because he's very fashionable. All I can smell, dude, I'm dressed down. You got no Sandy. You got to see uh, my uh, closets. I have, I, 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 people ask me sometimes, I go shopping, they go, you need jeans? I go, dude, I have 275 pairs of jeans. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Of course, like, he only I, wears three of them. That's not true, dude. Right. That's just because they're on the top of the pile. He also has 450 cowboy hats, but he only wears two of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, that, that's because they're convenient. You know how it is. Right, you grab right, the first right. thing. You grab the ones you like the best. No, we're yeah. just, we're just well, into well. our own style. And it's like, to me, look, see, you can see this picture. I think rock stars should look like rock stars. I, I don't think oh, rock yeah. stars should look you like the really guys see that picture. You know, I used to get I used to get bugged. There were certain bands, man, that you know, you'd go look at them and you'd be like, man, this guy should be selling me an appliance at Circuit City. I want to look like a freaking rock star. So yeah. and that's how it used to be. And then uh, the grunge came in, right. and changed that all up, and uh, you're doing that again. No, we're, you know, we want to be too sexy show for our shirt. Pants, show them your pants, dude. Take them off. Take off Check the pants. You do all that yourself. My, huh? my girlfriend made them for me. Dude. They're very nice. Oh, like she's like, cool. honey, when you come home today, TJ Maxx, new stuff every Tuesday for you. And I came home and she had these. Rock and she was naked. And you got a motorcycle she pad, so I like that. Yeah. Right, Get down, dude. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Right? Be your own style. It's all cool. about rock and roll. Yeah. So, Originality. So yep. you guys right now are, are playing the House of Blues. You ba basically took over from our friend Steel Panther. We love Steel Panther. Yes, we did. And, and then when I first saw you guys play live, you opened for Steel Panther. That's so, right. And you played about five songs, and I thought it was good. But then I came back about a month and a half later, and I was like, Damn, these guys must have been locked in a room, not on an island, but locked in a yeah. room rehearsing because it was day and night, the oh, Steel Panther man. show. And the last one I saw you headline, it was pretty crowded there, too. I know, dude. Yeah. We've been pulling big crowds, man. And it's like, he was saying we played over the Monsters of Rock Festival in England, which was this very, very heavy festival. I mean, it was bands, Aerosmith and Slash were there and uh, ACDC. How did they also get there? Why well, I played, dude. We don't understand that, but who got us there? Oh, we, the way we got there was because, see, we have, it's amazing, on Facebook, we have a really strong presence on Facebook, and like tens of thousands of people show up in there to see us, and they actually started a petition to get us over to Download, which is the biggest rock festival in the world, right? And they went to ACDC? And they went to all the promoters who were in charge of booking the whole show, and they said, you need to have these guys. Well, we went over there, you know, and there was a moment I had when we were driving up to the venue, and I'm thinking, man, these people are hearing Five Finger Death Punch. Right. You know, they're hearing Rage Against the Machine, they're hearing As I Lee Dying and Avenged Sevenfold and all this. I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna what they're gonna think when we start playing Madonna, right? right? <laughs> well, it's you know like like I, I mean you know I was basically gonna wear like a nervous? football Literally, outfit. Madonna was not a part of the bill yeah. that evening. Although, although Madonna is metal, but uh, but you know we were like well I wonder what, how it's gonna go over and and I remember it was a really great moment in my life. I mean there, we had some really amazing moments in this band, but um, the venue was so packed you couldn't even see the end of it. It just went on and on and on and on. And I remember I poked my head around the side just to see you know how big the crowd was. People was like man there's a lot of people here to see. You. Right. And I thought they're here to see us or to kill us, you know. So I poked my head out and all this screaming started and I thought, wow, is Steven Tyler here or something? Right. It's, like, it's like, what's that about? So I poked my head out a little bit more and there was more screaming and I looked around and I thought, it can't be, right? 
And I walked out on the stage just a little bit and the people went nuts and I'm like, wow, they've seen our video and they were all really excited to see Rock Sugar. Yeah. And then when we played, what's really cool, Sandy, is that we have these songs and they're all these songs you know, but they're in whole new ways and they go right. in and out of each other. Every single person there, and there were thousands of them, right. knew every word of every song, where it was going and how it was gonna change. So. You know what, man, I think if Ozzy were here tonight, he'd probably say something just like this. Ah, let's do the song. Let's do it, dude. definitely look them up and you could see their videos on YouTube because yeah. it's something you've never seen before that's and true. you don't get it until you actually watch it but you guys are seasoned musicians so that just we're covered takes with seasoning it. dude this we is are seasoned. Yeah. garlic salt I mean when you when you hear it's yes. just nothing like they're, they're wonderful amazing see, musicians and, and this and is another thing one of the biggest compliments that I could pay a band is going to one of their shows yeah. and not having a camera yeah. around my neck. Yeah, we couldn't that, believe it. Yeah, that means I'm not there to work and make money. I'm there to enjoy myself and have fun. And he's right. come twice. Yeah, I've come yeah. twice, but I was gonna go well, Monday. Yeah, we were gonna yeah, come, we come on Monday. Well, we were, we were gonna go 
two days ago, yeah. and the, the House of Blues copped out and rented the place a out. Sweet 16 or something was going yeah, on. What are you going to do? They were making more money with that. I think they charged the guy like a lot of dough. But we'll be back there this coming Monday, and we're Kevin and seeing both okay, of you guys. Yeah, and I think some of the crew Definitely. here is going to. Oh, but, you guys got to come. But, but yeah. another thing is that's funny, because you know me, I'm pretty hardcore ACDC. Yeah. So when you first came, I mean, okay, start off with Metallica. Yeah, and then went into. You know, don't stop believing. I'm like, well, I'm personally not a big journey yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. Or then I'm at the I show and I see though. something going like into it. Jesse's girl. I mean, yeah. I don't go home and listen to Rick, <laughs> Rick Springfield. He's a nice guy, but that ain't. But these guys make it work. Yes. I actually, in the last two days, telling people that they were coming on, I probably saw the video, Sandman, believe in Probably don't, about- uh, Don't stop the Sandman, right? Yeah, don't, don't stop, stop the Sandman, sand, whatever it's yeah, called. It's I mean, I, I just watched the video, I, I can't read. So. Sandman, believe in But actually, <laughs> I've seen that thing 10 times, it's a great clip on YouTube. You gotta see it, it really tells the story of Rock Sugar. Yeah, you'll, you'll dig it, it's fun. Yeah, and what's bad, yes. wait, hold on, give me one of those yells. Oh yeah! yeah, yeah well, yeah. it's just a nice contrast, because you go from doing that to doing Steve Perry. Yeah, but that sounds right. nastier than and, you know, James Hetfield. I know. Well, it's like a cross between James Hetfield and uh, Gene Simmons. What's good about it is my background is in doing voiceovers for cartoons. And I stuff remember like that. when you did that in the 80s after the bands did Yeah, exactly. After I shot with you and was the end of your career. That was the end. Yeah, you yeah. killed yeah. us, man. That's not I a bad job. Them them. No, it's, it's the best job in the world. Yeah. I do voiceovers all day long and I do them for all the cartoon movies yeah. and stuff like that. But what's great is that everything happens for a reason sometimes, you know? Right. And in Rock Sugar, I've always been able to do impressions of people and, and make my voice change my voice, right? So in this band, it's great because I get to go from singing like Steve Perry to James Hetfield to Joe Elliott to Brian Adams to Paul Stanley to whoever you, you, you think can of. You, uh, can you do a quick little impression for us? Yeah, 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 yeah. voiceover. You want to hear some voiceovers? Uh, uh, how about uh, what's a good one? You know Paul Stanley, dude. How, Paul oh, give Stanley. me a Paul. Give, yeah. Paul. give me a Paul Stanley. I love doing Paul Stanley. Okay, come on, let's hear Paul. Okay, because you know something. First of all, it's great to be here with Neil Studio. I mean, I've always said that Kiss is a lot like a bagel. I mean, me and Gina like the tasty pot that you eat in Mason Peter with a hole in the middle. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Hello. And then wait, then there's, uh, then there's, wait, then we'll do uh, a... How about Shatner? Um, well, you know, William Shatner is my name. And he seriously believes that I am Gene Simmons of Kings. He seriously does, man. He was walking by my garage, William Shatner was walking by my garage, and he sees me and he thinks I'm Gene Simmons because he asked my neighbor if I was in Kiss, and my neighbor said yes, so it's a long story. So he's walking by my house and he goes, he goes, hey Gene. And I go, hey Bill, and on the spur of the moment I decided, I went, rock on, like that, right? <laughs> And I don't think he ever saw that before. So he was like, he kind of looked at me confused and he goes, oh, believe me, I intend to. And he held up one finger. <laughs> Just like this, dude. But here, I'll give you, I'll give you one more. I'll give you more rockers. I'll give you one more. Well, rockers? Well, who do you? Oh, yeah, yeah. First of all, it's fantastic to be here. And here. It's like some you know, pictures and stuff. It's been a long time since we've done a first time session. I need to get some new shots. You know, I, I just like doing everybody, dude. I mean, here's another one for you. You, you know, Neil, it's me, Christopher Walken. I got to oh. tell you something. I love your pictures. But next time, if you don't give me a great shot, I'm gonna stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> you see, like this, this is what I do. Can, can you? Yeah. Thank you. How about yeah. David Lee Roth? Dave, man, I know, you know, I used to do Dave, and it's like it's been such a long, you know, because they know he's something like this, but I haven't heard him in a long time, you know. He's always, yeah, here you go. You know, you know well, something along those if lines. If all else goes wrong with your career, you can always be a voice in person. Well, that's, 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 that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. What are you, sleeping? Stand up comedy. I don't know. Things have already gone wrong. I'm that guy. He's already there. I'm that guy. Comedy routine. I'm that guy. Yeah, comedy routine. I'm that guy you hear saying, and then. On the next slows out, oh, yeah. Sandy gets naked. See? Yeah, There's the problem. We, so tune in. Go. How about on, the, on the coming up, we too. pimp Samantha off? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know about that yet? Yeah, well, no, they don't know about it. He's so. got a great idea. you got to keep watching this show, especially I'm if you're a dude you, and you're yeah, horny. This is, a, this is a surprise for all you horn-toed guys out oh, there. Oh, you'll be happy, man. Yeah, you'll be happy if you Absolutely. keep on watching poor this Poor Samantha thing. is all I have to say. Yeah, poor so, Samantha yes. on me. Right? Yeah, poor Samantha. Poor Samantha on me. I didn't go well, maybe if you write in, you're the winner. She will be poured on you. <laughs> some some the, liquid Samantha. Dude, I'm telling you, he's got Get some surprises. In yeah, we got surprises. We're just in the, the virginal stages of this show. It's going to get better and better.